my vlog. Hello to all you newbies. For the new people that are here, you are truly welcome. This is the Hayley's Help channel, if you didn't already know. And as the title suggests, I'm Hayley and I'm here to help you with your homemaking skills. <laughs> subscribe button to stay up to date with my latest content on YouTube click the bell to receive notifications and don't forget to like the video if you've enjoyed it so let's get going on the bed clean right so first things first guys I am going to show you how to make a little sprinkle a little scented sprinkle for your mattress. So, what you're going to need for this is our favourite here on the Haley's Help channel, a used candle jar. It costs nothing other than you already buying the candles. So if you already have these, don't throw them away. I mean, I'm not encouraging people to start keeping loads of stuff, but when it comes to these jars, they're super useful. So, get yourself a candle jar. If you don't have a candle jar, you know, improvise, contact me in the comments below and I'll give you some other suggestions. Let me know what you've got and I'll find a way around it for you, I promise. And you're gonna need some baking soda. You're gonna just put that within the jar. You can use as little or as much as you want. If you wanna make a whole batch, make a whole batch. It will just vary on the amount of tea tree oil drops you're gonna use, which is the next thing that you will need for this. You don't have to use tea tree oil. You can use other essential oils that you like. The fragrance of lavender is um, quite a good one as well in terms of using it on your bed. This one is actually from the pound store. So it's a pound. And tea tree oil has got really good kind of um, disinfecting abilities. So that's why I like tea tree oil. So what you're going to do is, with your bicarb of soda that you have placed in your candle jar, you just want to put a few drops of the oil in. I mean, that's more than a few, but you get my drift. And then you can go ahead and shake that up so it mixes. Like so. And then, oh, that smells really, really, really strong. Um, make sure as well, guys, just quickly, when you're using any essential oils, just make sure that you're um, using them properly and that no one's kind of sensitive to the oils, etc. So just check that before you start willy-nilly using them. And then what you're going to need is some form of, um, this is chill. I think that's how you say it. It's kind of like netting. So, and what you're gonna do is, you're gonna place the netting over your jar and just get an elastic band, which I've got here, and you're then gonna go ahead and secure that. You can also, for this, use, um, for this particular method, you can use a kitchen sieve, um, and you can also use a jar and cut holes in the jar. If you don't have any netting, you can also use a carrier bag, you know, like a sandwich bag and pierce holes in that. It's up to you. This is just the method that I'm going with today though. So that is your solution made up and you can keep this for as long as it kind of lasts and you can tie it in a bow if you want and pretty it up in your kind of cabinet. I mean, that's not a bow, but if it went into a bow and it's just quite cute, I just quite like it. And then you've obviously got a lid that you can put back on it at the end. So that is our solution made up that we're gonna be using on the mattress itself today. And we are literally just gonna be sprinkling this on and then I will show you the next step. Right guys, once you've got your solution made up, what we're gonna do is we are just literally gonna sprinkle it over the bed. And as you can see, because of the netting, it comes out really nicely. So it's like a really fine, um, look, like a talcum powder almost. So, you just want to sprinkle that quite generously over your mattress. And then what we're going to do in a second is we are going to go ahead and we're going to massage that in. 
and this is gonna really, really freshen up the mattress. So the thing with my mattress is this, the whole mattress kind of um, comes apart. So this thing here can actually go through the washing machine. So I do do that quite regularly, but a lot of mattresses don't have this. So I just wanted to show you if that isn't an option for you, this is really good for freshening up your mattress and kind of getting rid of any bad odours and you know it's nice as well like I said to use the tea tree oil because um it's it's really it's known for its kind of antibacterial properties so that is why I've gone for tea tree oil but again use whatever oils you like to use like you can use lavender um there's cinnamon oil there's all different sorts of oils i'm just going to take my rings off for this bit because they're going to get mucky otherwise once you have put your powder onto the mattress you're just going to want to kind of start massaging it in you know like oh it does feel so smooth and it does smell delicious So just massage it into the whole of your mattress, like so. And then what you're gonna wanna do, ideally, is leave it to just sit for a good few hours before you start vacuuming it off. But for the purposes of YouTube, I'm gonna show you the next process now. And this bit is where you're gonna get rid of any bed bugs. And it is one thing that I cannot stress enough, you must vacuum your mattresses. If you wanna get rid of bed bugs, the best thing you can do for that is to make sure you give your mattress a really good deep clean regularly. So regularly do this, don't kind of do it only once a year, keep on top of it, and that will eliminate the family of bed bugs that wanna inf infest your bed and mattress. So let's get the vacuum and get the powder off the mattress. Okay, to remove the powder and any bed bugs that may be lurking around, I am using my Henry Allergy. For those of you who haven't seen it yet, I have done a vlog on this, so go and check it out. And I'm just gonna um, start removing all the powder, like so. guys now we have done our mattresses i am going to be moving on to the bed frame itself which is another thing you should keep on top of cleaning to keep it free from kind of any dust and dirt and grime <clears throat> so we're going to do that now the bed that i am cleaning is the bow moral bed and it's in the gray velvet it's really quite plush the material of this but it's super super easy to keep clean and I'm going to show you now just how easy it is with a few simple steps. Right so the first thing you're going to want to do with the bed frame itself is to actually vacuum it so you're going to want your dusting attachment on your vacuum and you're going to do the whole of the bed frame and then we will move on to the next bit that is just you're going to be like well that's easy but we're going to vacuum first so you're going to need your dust attachment like i said i'm again going to be using the henry allergy for this and we're going to do the whole of the frame So 
a little hit for you here is if you've got one of these kind of velvet beds um, and this is what I do really love about this one if you go against the grain type thing you know what I mean like the fabric it will leave like lines so you can then see exactly what bits you've got and what bits you haven't so it, it makes for a, more of a thorough job then like so you're not just going willy-nilly like this and then being like oh what did I do if you're actually going up against it you can then see the bits you've done and the bits that you've missed Okay, and then once you're happy that you've got the whole of the headboard, you can then obviously go back over it, which will flatten down the um, sides again, and you're just giving it a double vacuum then, which is also very handy. attachment the whole of your fabric bed you can then go ahead and use this this is the easiest part of this it's the Dettol all-in-one disinfectant spray it kills 99.9% of all bacteria and literally with fabric beds you don't want to saturate them because they're going to end up stinking and you just don't want to do it so this is really good because it's such a fine mist and you're literally just going to spray um, just spray it like you've fixed your hair and you just need a little splash of hairspray on it and then um, like look as you can see it comes out so fine so you're not absolutely soaking the bed and then once you've put that on you can then go ahead and just start rubbing it over because you, I can't stress enough you do not want to saturate um, a fabric bed if you have them this is absolutely adequate to kill any germs and bacteria and that to touch it doesn't feel wet at all so just any kind of little bits of moisture just go over with a clean soft microfiber cloth just to get any of the kind of little bits of liquid that have gone on it and do that over the whole of your bed and you will have a beautifully clean sterile bacteria free bed bug free mattress and bed frame to make it smell super super nice and then making the bed as well I'm going to show you some different tips on how to do that on what I do with my bed at home and that will be coming up like I said in part dos so join me again then if you haven't done so already click the subscribe button click on the bell for the notifications and like the video and I will see you all again next time right here on Hayley's Help bye guys In this section, we are going to be stripping the bed down and I'm going to be showing you some tips, that's Hayley's tips, on how to make your bed smell incredible. It kind of just looks like a bean bag, really. So that is how you're going to take it downstairs. Merry Christmas!
and that can go in and then that can be reused again once the washing comes out dry it can go back in to the fabric softener box to be used another day.